Happy holidays. I know it's a super busy time of year and I know you want to get your new gift up and working for you as soon as possible. So this brief video is just going to be as concise as possible. I'm going to show you how I use my to-do list uh, notebook. I've been doing this for about four years now. And uh, this year when I was thinking about, you know, how best can I serve my clients? What can I make for them? I came up with this idea of giving them a system of organization. Now, this is no judgment on you of being unorganized. This is just an option opportunity for you to lean in to a new way of doing things uh, if, you, if you don't keep a to-do list journal. I find that keeping a to-do list notebook is the best way for me to stay organized so that my notes from my meetings or my lists or my doodles are all in one place and I know how to find them whenever I need to go back to them, either in the recent past or the distant past. I can always go to my to-do list notebooks and find all of my notes that I've ever created since I started doing the to-do list notebook. So that's my want for you is to keep and stay organized. So I have a question. Are you organized? Because if you're not, I think you're gonna find this super valuable. Are you somebody that makes sticky notes? Because I hope you're not like this poor woman and um, being overwhelmed by your sticky note madness. And if you're like me, people are counting on you to do your tasks on time and not lose track of things. And if you're like me, you probably have some personal notes and personal tasks that you need to keep track of for your things outside of your business that aren't necessarily time bound, that don't belong in your digital calendar, and that don't belong on a sticky note that might get lost in the shuffle. So in comes the to-do list journal, and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. This is your notebook, and this is how it works. If you choose to, you could start your day getting quiet and meditating. I don't meditate every day, but when I do, it helps me get centered, helps me collect myself, helps me not get so overwhelmed by my day. But sometimes when I'm meditating or getting quiet, uh, there's just a lot going on. And so what I do is I, I, I have this notebook and my pencil and I write down the things I need to get done and I just put it out there. Now, once I put it down on paper, uh, I don't have the pressure of trying to remember it while I'm meditating. So it helps free my mind up. It also helps me organize my day. Sometimes I just sit and I just do my notebook and I do my list and I just get started. And I, I don't even bother meditating because I've got so much momentum or maybe because I, I don't have, I don't think I have enough time. So I'm gonna tell you how to keep notes the way, the way I do it. Here we go. I start each day with a date and you could write something that you're grateful for. It helps get you in the mood. And this is where I put my most important tasks usually try to limit them to three and the not as important tasks I put down here uh, as, a, as a running to-do list. More on that in a moment. Here I'll put any, uh, this, I don't necessarily do the, use this for my ca scheduling calendar because I find it redundant because I use Google Calendar to coordinate appointments with people, but here's where I could write down my deadlines uh, that are time bound in the day, such as like delivering a film by four o'clock or something like that. Um, now, this notes and stuff section, this is a great place for you to put down uh, like a list of things. So if I'm making, let's say, a list of people I'm going to give gifts to this year, uh, I could use this quadrant here. Or um, if I'm doing a, a meeting, I usually take my meeting notes and I put them, uh, I, I keep them right in Google Calendar under the description, and so I could, it's searchable that way on when I'm doing my email and stuff, I can go back and get my consultation notes that way. But if I don't, if I'm just doing notes like in person with somebody, um, you know, having coffee or whatever, I'll keep my notes right there on that day. And I can go back to the day for my calendar and I can get my notes right there. Um, I don't use this or down here very much for my water intake, um, but it's a good reminder and it's motivating for me that uh, maybe I can get to the gym more often. And uh, meal tracking, I don't, I don't keep track of my meals yet either, but maybe I will, maybe you will. Maybe this is important for you, but there it is. Or you can cross it out and write your own descriptions there of, of these quadrants. 
And also something cool right at the bottom, there's a new quote every single day. Um, maybe you can read that and feel inspired or maybe make a social post and inspire other people. So right there, there's a little bit of inspiration, some fodder for your social media if you wanna create some uplifting content on your channel, you don't know what to say, boom, there it is right there. Thought that might be kind of cool, cool little idea. So uh, as I work on my notes, work through my to-do list, I'm gonna show you how I notate, really easy. This is the legend. So that carrot right there means that it, I didn't get it done that day and, I, and it's moved to another list. So I take it at the, end of the, at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day, I take my previous list and I rewrite the to-do list that didn't get finished and I put them on my next list and I add the little carrot on the previous one so that everything on my to-do list every day has some marking. It's either a check mark that it's been done either, or crossed off that it, I don't need to do that anymore or um, a carrot that it's moved to the next day. So the act of writing my list, rewriting the, my open items from one day to the next helps keep my track of my uh, tasks that need to be done um, so that I can look at any day from my notebook and any page and I can see if there's anything that's open, anything that kind of missed and fell through the cracks, I can put the little carrot and rewrite it and take it and put it over there. Now, if I don't want to put it on my main to-do list, I have created a month or a year list of things that are like bigger that I want to get done, bigger tasks. I'll take those and I'll put those on a master list of some kind, like a monthly list. I do number every single uh, page in my notebook so that I can create an index. It's really easy to do. The first page of your notebook on the back of the cover, right, index at the top, and then you're gonna keep a running tally of the name of a list that you've created in your notebook. Let's say there's some important list, a gift, a list of people's names, or notes from a certain meeting, or a spreadsheet, or open items on a project that you wanna, you wanna go back to that page again and again. You put it right there. Here's last year's for me. And uh, you can put these list right there and then the page number. And that's why it's important to, to write the page number down at the top right corner or bottom left, bottom right corner, wherever you want on the uh, right there so you can refer to the page number. Now that I have an index in the beginning of every notebook I've ever created, I can go to my archives of my notebooks from previous years and I can look at the cover and I'll add, and I'll, I put the, uh, the dates of when I started the notebook and when I ended the notebook. And I can go to that date. Here's June 17th, 2019 through January 31st, 2020. I can go in the index and I could go to, um, on page 15, I wrote a list of old friends. <laughs> Uh, or I could um, go page 84 and I could look at September's list, the monthly list, uh, or a consultation with the Monterey Museum uh, at page 105. Um, here's a good one. My, uh, how to edit, my, my timeline settings for editing in VR 180 is something I refer to sometime every time I, I go back to sh trying to film in 180, uh, you know, virtual reality. Uh, I go to page 143 and I can see my notes from there and there's no sticky note I have to find uh, out of the trash or some random place. Um, it's even easier than looking it up online and um, you know searching in my calendar or my email for some notes I wrote there somewhere. So um, it also has all my doodles and like little lines and stuff like that so it makes it more custom. So in short, it's a system. Welcome to my to-do list system. I hope it works for you so that you can be a champion. So you can take your day, attack your day, organize it, get things done. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you. Thank you for your support in collaborating with me on making great videos. I look forward to our continued collaboration this next year in 2023.